by the emanations coming out of the center. You can see it clearly in the pulsing of thirds. One, two, three. The thirds intersect in a harmonic, a timing. It's like music harm harm musical harmonics. And that's how I keep the electricity from having friction and having random collisions. Here's your 396s in the center. See your 396s always in the center? Remember I said we leave it alone? 396693? It flips versus right. one winding. Here's the other winding going out. 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. Oh. And then there's the space in between you were talking about. And if you put these both together, okay. here you have doubling down. 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. Here you have doubling up. 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. There's your 396693. Oh, okay. okay. This and those two ingredients. Those two ingredients make this. In fact, everything you're seeing is all one and the same. The numbers never move. I'm just giving you zoom views, cross-section views. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you outer-surface views. Okay. This is a standard coil, but I'm going to turn it into the rodent coil. A standard coil is based on how many wraps you have around the outside. Those are called turns. And they say that determines then your magnetic output, inductance and stuff. It's totally primitive science. What I found, what they were shocked at Hewlett Packard is nobody could hear very gradual type incline. See how slow it twirls in like water in a whirlpool? Okay? It's, it's this least acute reason, everybody said, but they came to the conclusion, it's what I've said from the beginning, it is the geometry alone of the wire that's producing all this extra magnetism. Incline as you can have in winding this coil. On this bit, with using three parts. Any questions, Charlie? Well, I, I, I feel pretty. This took a few hours to complete. Lots of work. It's eight, 18 winds, which are the two coils. So this would be 18, this would be 18. And I'm going to start with showing you just hooking up one of these wires. <laughs> so here I've got my three N52 discs. Uh, this is just to show how powerful the repulsion from the coil is. I'm going to now just attach this little wire. So, here we go. There, see how powerful that is? And then the other wire. So that's the other coil. If anybody's familiar with Marco Roden and his vortex-based mathematics, uh, what I've done is I've replicated this design here in 3D. And uh, what, just to give you a basic background on how this thing works, is you've, he, and then you have the oscillating three and the six around the nine, and you've got your triangle here that doesn't is not connected at the base. This is the energy center right here, and you've got your doubling circuits around the circle. So what I've done is I've created a 3D version of that. Um, I've got numbers going around it and just to give you, uh, if you can't see it already, uh, this is the 9 right here. The 6 axis goes down that way, the 3 axis goes down this way in the inside and then you've got the 1 up here in the, in the right uh, according to Marco Roden's uh, theory and looking at it straight ahead you've got your triangle here all right, and over here you got the one down to the three, but it and it definitely does connect into the four, or has a relationship has a relationship with the four, and then the six line that goes down. When I think in what they were doing, <coughs> when the uh, with this 2D anagram, it was probably a uh, a cut, a section cut, right through the middle, and giving you this view. And uh, one of the other aspects about it is if you look at it, you've it's actually a nine-pointed star. Uh, starting from the top, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the nine. Everything comes back to the nine. Is is built. Um, if you look at it, every 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 corner equals nine. You got eight and one is nine. Four and five down here equal to nine. The two and the seven equal nine. Everywhere you spin this thing, it equals nine. Now where's the three and the six? They're on the inside. They're the ones that are regulating this whole thing. The oscillation between the six and the three, they're on the inside. All right. 
And um, one of the other interesting things about this is if you count around this wave pattern, because that's what it actually essentially does is creates a wave pattern. Uh, this thing, it comes down to make the three and it just keeps going. So you get the repeating threes, repeating, repeating sixes all the way around, but you don't have a repeating nine because the nine is just central right here in the middle. This is a gyroscope three-dimensional holon of tetraoctahedrons that is also the matrix of the sulking. It is the sacred galactic calendar of the Mayans. And Marisol Gonzalez Sterling will show you this in the next video of Tao Universe.